We are in the home stretch of summer, but the extreme heat is not letting up. High humidity in Tucson has made the city feel much warmer than the temperature would have us believe. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland joins us now with what we can expect ahead. Well, Sean, if you've been outside the last couple days, you know it's very hot out there. We're going to be expecting humidity like this through the end of September, and that's going to have a big impact on our average temperature. The first part of this month is when Tucson typically sees a significant drop in our average high temperatures. Instead, we are seeing afternoon highs still over 100 degrees. Last year at this time, we broke record high temperatures with afternoons over 110. Jerry Borchard is a Tucson resident who joined a drum circle in 2015 that practices outside this time of year. But he says he just can't handle the heat anymore. I could do it back then. Uh, nowadays, I, 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 could not, I could not do it anymore. It, it's just too hard on the system. And after that, I realized that, wow, you know, things are getting so hot that I really have to start watching myself when I'm going out and make sure I'm protecting myself, you know, wearing hats and, you know, uh, just in, in general, avoiding the sun as much as possible. This year, the increased humidity is making it feel warmer, and that's due to our above average monsoon. We will have these humid conditions until the end of the season. Until then, the city has a program which helps those who need it most from the brutal heat. We spent part of the agenda compiling um, bags of uh, packets of, of useful items for people who are houseless uh, to help be more resilient for heat. Water bottles, sunscreen, hygiene items, other items like that. Now even after monsoon ends, we will see a chance of 100 degree days until October. Sean.